Yasmin Nezri from Muay Thai Inc. I've seen her fight before. She's a very technical competitor. She trained with Tim Thomas and the likes in the past. So she's relatively uh, experienced in that department. Look for I, Jim Lauren Seals. This match is 51 kilogram super flyweight B class action to be fought over five two minute rounds. We're now in the business end of the show so far, Dave. It's been great so far, hasn't it? They've got a lot to fight for, haven't they? Yeah, fantastic show. This is a B class boat, five two minute rounds, the super flyweight. Ladies, Muay Thai is in very, very good shape here in the UK at the moment. Your referee, Jesse Saunders, brings these two young ladies together. They're nodding at each other. They're about to smash each other's chins off. Hopefully for us in the commentary box and the crowd, I'm Danny Kendrick, joined in the commentary box by Dave Fensum. I know it's hard to tell this early on, but I always like to see the sort of mentality that you see in these fighters, like Red Corner smiling, waving to her friends. But uh, Blue Corner just looks a bit more switched on, a bit more business oriented here. Looks like she's well up for it. Well, we're about to test the fence and theory here. And these girls get stuck into each other as we start off. Clinching knee from Nasri tries to off balance her, but the balance is very good from Lauren Silence. Two good gyms look right, and the Muay Thai Inc. here. Yeah, Lauren's strong there in the clinch. Lovely body kick landed by Red Gloves. And push kick as well, yep. Oh, tried to catch a very low kick there and wore a punch, didn't she? It's not advisable, is it, Dave? No, very dangerous reaching down for the kicks. You don't want to be doing that. <laughs> I said on the last time I commentated on Yasmin Nazri, I said this girl hasn't blinked for the whole first round. I, I think she's going to do it for the whole fight this time. Just have a look at her. That is what you call eye on the prize, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, she's very focused, but yep. red corner. Lauren is uh, equally so now. The smiles have gone. Just circling off and finding her shot. She times them well, Nasri. Just hands at the moment and then brings her leg into it as well. We're, like I said, we're now in the business end of the show. Just B class and full tie rules action to come. And uh, pro am for the well, experienced Lauren, juniors as well. Lauren just reaching down very low again. Now it's a bit of a worry there. It's, it's the second time she's done it, Dave. And uh, like you say, it is worrying. It's not pleasant to watch. You can see, you can almost see what's going to happen. Good hands from Nasri, long punches and... Yeah, it just needs to straighten that out a little bit. Yeah. Punch a little bit of angles. Definitely. But, but good start from both girls. Yeah, both fighters are really laying it down early in that fight and just letting each other know good punches. Yeah, it was a game of punches, wasn't it? And it really was uh, just showing, just starting to bring their legs in early as well.
Yeah, some good work from both girls. A lot of faking going on, like not letting each other know what they're going to be all about in this fight. Is it, only time's going to tell, isn't it? That's the thing. Early days, first round, just sussing each other out. We'll see where we go in round two. Oh, big knee from Nazri to start the round. Yeah, lovely, straight up the middle. She's strong, Silence. She really is. Very, very strong. Nazri's head is a little bit low there. She's lucky not to get clipped. She's got a little bit of uh, marking over her left eye there where she's been hit with the right hand of, yep. of uh, Lauren. Well, like I said, she, this girl does not blink during the fight. <laughs> Funny thing to spot, but honestly, she doesn't blink for the whole fight. Yeah, good, well-timed lead kick there. She didn't tee it up, you know, in a switch kick. There's no switch, she just lifted the leg clean into the body there. Yeah, nice, nice, pivot. Skill. nice pivot and good core strength there. Getting chased down now, isn't she, from Lauren Silence? She's starting to dictate the pace and, and uh, move Nazri around, but Nazri scores well on the back foot, doesn't she, Dave? She does, and she's moving well. The lady says she's not blinking. I can't stop seeing that, man. That's Fury. I wish I never pointed it out to you, to be honest. But it works for her. Maybe she's painted something on her eyelids. Who knows? She seems to have slowed down a little bit and yeah, playing just single shots, Nazri. I don't know if she's hurt or something. I don't think I don't so. Maybe just looking to pace it a bit more. But yeah, yep. red corner, just pressing the action, moving forwards a little bit more. Technically very, very good. Both girls, actually. But I think Nazri... Uh, Scores the cleaner shots for me, yeah. But, but the work rate is lower. Yep. And neither, neither girl throwing everything they've got into their shots, though, are they? They're not trying to really hurt each other here at the moment. It's, it's almost a sparring pace, trying to outscore each other. Yep. Good second round again. Don't forget, look, Barai Jim, head to head with the Muay Thai Inc. team here on the Raw Combat League. I'm Danny Kendrick. This is Dave Fensum in the commentary box, and everything to fight for for these girls. Yeah, heading into round three. It's a B class boat, slightly longer rounds to, at two minutes. Anyone not know at home, B class rules means no elbows, but knees to the head are permitted. I feel that if, uh, if Lauren just Tightened up a little bit and uh, kept her balance when she threw her shots. Good she knee there lot, from Nazri. A lot more effective. Yeah, sorry, Dave. Big knee from Nazri there on the inside. And uh, Lauren's not throwing everything she's got into it. I said before, Nazri doesn't blink, does she? She's, her eyes are just wide open the whole time. Stop, stop pointing that out to me. <laughs> But, ladies and gentlemen, that is eye on the prize. It really is. Busy performance from uh, Lauren Silence, but yeah, she but needs to hit harder. She needs well, to come in and throw think... everything she's got. It's almost like they're defending where they shoot. Her balance is off. When she when she comes in, she throws work rate, but her balance is too much on the back foot. Yep. So she throws her shot and leans back. There's yeah, no if, power in it. There's if no... you're half thinking of getting away where you're shooting, yeah. Dave, you're not getting everything into that shot, yeah. are you? And you're not going to score high on that because you're, you're not... Well, not effective shots will score on my tie, ladies and gentlemen, so it's quite a handful for the judges, this one. Good fake on the leg kick, and then throws the right hand. Clipped Good her again there. there. Silence has got a strong chin, though. Her head doesn't move, does it? Yeah, Yasmin's got a much better balance. See how she's a bit more forward on her shots? Very light on her feet as well, Dave. But again, Lauren just pressing the action forward. Big right hand. But it's all single shots here at the moment from Nazri. She needs to put together some combinations. Look, there she goes again. She opens her up with the lead kick, which is a, a great kick, but doesn't fall out of anything, does she? Yep.
Here we go for round four of the scheduled five. And uh, that from Lauren was much better balance when she threw her kick, she was forward. A great time timing on that teat there. The better puncher is uh, Yasmin Nasri here, though. She's uh, definitely got longer hands, she's just a bit more accurate. I'd just like to see Lauren a bit, a bit more forward with her weight when she throws her shots. Yep. She's here, she's here and she's there, isn't she? She's in and out, but... She's just leaning back when she throws. She's just making I her... I think either girls window. throwing their shots as hard as they can. They're not trying to damage each other. They're trying to score the points and take the win like that. They're both settling for the, uh, the scorecards, I'm sure. Yeah, but unfortunately for Lauren, if, if she's always kicking on the, with her weight back like that... Big kick! Off balance them more than anything, and the referee was on it. But that's what will happen. If your weight's back like that, it just takes a little tap and you're down. Look, I mean, she's falling back when she throws her kick there. It's good something call. that yep. she can really work on after watching this back. Hopefully she'll so, notice. So basically, what you're saying is if she throws, commits to the shot, she's not going to get caught like that off balance going backwards as well. Yep. So it's going to work better in her defence as well. And the shot will be more effective because she'll push her opponent back. Yep. She does do it every so often, and when she does, it's much more effective. But uh, little, Yasmin is... In tight fights like this, it's little, little aspects of the fight like that where a fighter can take the win, isn't it? Yeah, nice body kick there from Yasmin. And she throws with her weight forward there on her kick. Much better. Pushes her opponent back. When Lauren gets hit, she moves back. And that's because her balance is off more than anything. But it's going to go against her in the scoring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not... 100% sure who's going to win this fight. I've got Nasri a little bit ahead, to be honest with you, at the moment on my card, but the commentator's card counts for nothing, as you know. One thing I do know is uh, Nasri won't blink before the end bell. I can tell you that right now. Oh. But Silence has uh, had a good fight as well so far. She's fought really, really well. She's in and out, in and out, and it's very, very hard for Nasri to pin her down and get her shots off. It's, Hard to fight people like that, to be honest. Yeah, very, very. And there's one more round to go, so let's see what they got left in the tank. Silence is in and out, in and out. She's too loose on her feet. It's almost like she's boxing. And like, like you said, she caught with a high kick. It wasn't a knockout high kick, but That's where it. she was off balance, and there she was, she was on her back. She, she leans back when she kicks. She, she'll throw her punch and she'll lean back, she'll kick, she'll lean back. Look there, she's leaning back, so she gets hit with little hands and it pushes her back. Maybe it's the hand speed of Nasri that's actually putting her back as well, because she's the, she's the more accomplished puncher of the two, especially to the head. Yeah, that said, she's coming forward a bit better now, putting her weight forward a bit more. She knew she wasn't going to go for that uh, spinning. She pulled out of it, to be yeah, fair, Dave. Yeah. Last minute, she pulled out of that. But that will not get you off with Jesse Saunders. He's a ruthless referee, and he will let them know. Spoiling the clinch with the uh, cross block, Nasri there. But limp back very uncomfortably. Yeah, squished against the ropes. Always Jumping oh, push yes. kick there. I would like to have seen Lauren do this a couple of rounds ago, coming forward a bit more. Yeah, that would have been nice to see, Keeping definitely. Her forward when she throws. She did so a nice untied, yes, untidy guard from Silence, isn't it, as well, Dave? It, it does the job, but it could tighten up, couldn't it? Yeah, it might just be a little bit tired. This, good push kick uh, from Lauren Silence there to look where I go. Very good push kick. As we say, final round of the scheduled five here. Well, they haven't stopped hitting each other. The work rate's been absolutely frantic. Fair play to these girls. They've come here today to the Royal Combat League and they've laid it down for everyone here. It takes a lot to get in that ring and lay it on the line. And these girls are still going right to the final bell. Yeah, it's true, it's not easy, especially for girls, Dave, you know. It's, um, it's a big commitment as well, isn't it, to, to come and fight as well. It's a massive life commitment for these people. And a bit sexist. <laughs> it is, it's a big life commitment, and these girls have done very well. Look at that. Throwing well, right to the final bell, well done. I think, I think that's going to go to Nasri, that's my call, but... <laughs> my call counts for nothing, as you know. Where, where, where'd you go with that fight, Dave? 
it's difficult. I mean, for it position yeah. and, and quality of shots, I would have to go to Yasmin Nasri. But we're not judges. Luckily, we don't have that job. Well, luckily, we've got some very capable judges here as well. So, we're sure they're going to get see this what one they right. Say. Yep, yep. Yasmin Nasri from the Muay Thai Ink Gym. It's a good performance. He stuck to a game plan, I think, as well. And it works. It's going to win fights. Lawrence Islands will have a lot to learn from that fight as well. I'm sure watching back.